Hello, my name is Jack Brown. I'm an artist. We're here in my studio so I can show you some technical tips to help you make some new work for the Take Part Challenge. Okay, so we're going to have a look at using wax resists in painting. Uh, again, a really quick and easy way of taking an image and making it better. So you'll need for this um, wax crayons, cheapos, do not have to be expensive. We're going to try some oil pastels. So not chalk, oil, really important, that oil pastels. And some wax candles, okay? As well as that, you'll need some watercolour, brushes, water, and of course some paper to work on. I've got some different colours. Okay, just quickly to show you how the wax resist actually works. Um, you need to use something that is waxy or oily to make the resist. So I've got some crayons here. Um, I'm going to draw a few little shapes in the crayons. That's white, this is green. Alright, um, now the way this works is if I use some watercolour, this watercolour will not sit on top of the wax, it will resist the wax. So you're going to end up with a really interesting reverse picture where the wax resists and you end up with a picture like that. Okay? Now to play around with this a little bit more, uh, of course you can use different coloured wax. So I'm going to try some different different colours. I might try a yellow. And you can try different colour washes over the top of these images. So I think on the yellow one, I'm going to try some red. Works pretty well. On the blue, I'll try a bit of green. Nice. And then I think I'm going to try a really, really dark black on the green. Alright, so you can see there, even just with really cheap crayons and watercolour, you can start to build up some really interesting colour um, contrasts and also some interesting images and ways to play with an image maybe even evolve an image a few times until you find your colour combination. Now another thing you can use, uh, a candle. Try and use the edge a little bit, so it's like a drawing tool. Um, I'm going to do a few experiments here. Now the thing is this, you really can't see what you're drawing until You go over the top. So it's a bit of an experiment this, seeing what comes out as you put colour over the top. But again, it still works really well. The wax of this works really, really well. Let's see what else we get as we move across the page. might start to spark some ideas for you but again a really simple technique to start to build up interesting images okay and finally we're going to have a go at using oil pastels so these are a bit more expensive but you'll get much stronger colors and I've got some different color paint here as well so actually I'm going to go for a little bit of everything so we've got some of the candles Try a little bit of the uh, little bit of this. And then let's try some of the um, 
So these are the oil pastels and as you can see you do get really 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 strong colour with these. And again a really interesting way of changing the drawing. Alright so we've got the pastel, candle around about here and normal um, crayons. Let's try a few washes over the top. Pastels work really 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 well. Really strong colours. Candles somewhere, oh, there it is. Let's get a bit more red. I like this red actually. Let's try it on this colour. Okay, now I'm going to try a little bit of black over the wax. Yeah, that works really well. Okay, so I hope you can see the different range of colours you can get. Candle, really, really cheap. Crayons, pretty cheap. Oil pastels, a bit more expensive, but a much, much stronger colour and thicker lines. And that's it, wax resists with paint. It's a really useful uh, technique to use in drawing and in painting. It's something that you could use quite quickly uh, to get some really good effects in your work and it will make your work stand out from the crowd. So use that to make some new work and take part challenge.